Hi my beautiful Cancers and welcome to my channel. This is going to be your November the 1st through the 6th, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So for those of you that are uh, new, welcome, and those of you that are returning, I'm so glad to have you. If you are new and you haven't yet subscribed, feel free to subscribe as that is always greatly appreciated. For those of you interested in a personal reading based on you and your person's energy alone, my website can be found in the description box below. And I am also launching between now and December 15th. I will be um, releasing my six month and 2020 forecast. So you guys can also find that in the link below. Um, for those of you who are following me on here and on Instagram, which you can find in my link below, at the end of this month, um, you guys can look out because I will be choosing another giveaway for a free reading. So let me start off with your tarot and I'll pull you guys some oracle cards. All right. What can we get for the beautiful Pisces? Justice. To right or wrong? Three of Swords, justice from a heartbreak. Some of you guys are going to be finding out the truth about a heartbreak. Some of you guys are going to be going through a divorce here. But I am sensing there is a lot of hurt and a lot of betrayal that you guys are going through. And you guys are going to be getting justice. You are going to be seeing justice for this. Or this is the beginning of justice by you finding out and, you know, a being able to release yourself. Eight of Swords here. There could be a lot of conflicting uh, conflicting energies here. For some of you, it's like you have this intuitive feeling that you're being betrayed here by somebody or that somebody just doesn't have your best intentions here, but you're trapped in your mind here. You're not walking away. You're staying in this situation. Maybe you've invested a lot of time. Six of Cups. Yeah, some of you, you feel like this is somebody from your... Um, some of you feel like this is a soulmate. This is somebody who's been in your life for a long time. There is a very... You know, you've been through a lot of good with this person here. And it could have just been a one-time thing here. And that's why you're like weighing, you know, stuck in your head as to whether or not you should be with this person or not. For some of you, there is a third party or not a third party. There is somebody coming back from your past. Um, some of you, this is a situation where you're going through a split from somebody and it could be a Libra, but you're going through a split and your justice is somebody coming back from the past who you're actually meant to be with. And it could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right, what else can we get for my beautiful Cancers here? Somebody is coming in to apologize after hurting you, after betrayal though. Ten of Wands here, yeah. This is an ending of burdens here. For some of you, the clarity that this person is going to give you is going to help you to heal and to move forward. I definitely sense a new start coming for you guys. Temperance here, it's all about balance. Um, I feel like in December, you guys are going to feel a lot balanced. Really take November to heal if you are currently going through this. Whatever it is, there's something that's trapped in your mind, whether this is a heartbreak or not. Some of you, this is just the fact that you feel like there was an injustice due to the fact that you and the person that you were with a couple years ago, you know, somebody from your past are not together currently. And, you know, maybe you thinking about this is going to bring that, them, that, that, sorry, that person back. And for others of you, you're actually going to be reaching out or they're going to be reaching out to you here. But there is some sort of wrong that is going to be, you know, written right. And there is some sort of balance here that is coming into play here. Balance for all the burdens, balance for all the struggles here. Things are taking a turn for the best throughout this week for you guys here. Some of you guys are realizing that somebody from your past is the one. We have the Six of Wands here, so you guys are going to be um, getting a lot of success within your career here. You guys are going to be recognized here. This is also a lot of people that are very passionate about you, have very passionate feelings towards you, that are messaging you, that are reaching out to you here. So if you are coming into a time where you are, you know, single or you are currently single, then I definitely sense that there are a lot of options around you here. Um, a lot of people, some from the past and some from, I am sensing that during the Mercury retrograde, you're going to have a couple of exes, not just one or two, a couple of exes that are going to come back into your life here. The shadow side and the star here. I feel like for some of you who went through a heartbreak, it was something that needed to happen. You really needed to see the truth about this person. You really needed to experience this in order to really get what it is that, <clears throat> get what it is that you want. For some of you, this had to happen in order to push you to go through an extensive healing process that you've been needing to go through for a very long time. But it's like everything that has happened is for a reason here, and I'm definitely sensing here that you know you will be able to get. Some of you do, are dealing with addictions here. Um, but I do sense a healing energy here. I sense that if you are addicted, you will be getting, if you're addicted to something, you will be getting help here. I sense a lot of healing energy. Um, but pretty much just saying that, you know, 
what betrayal has happened was so that you can achieve your highest good so that you can put your effort and your energy into things that are going to give back to you instead of take 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 what else can we get for cancer please three of cups yeah some of you there was a third party situation in the past i think i sense that you guys are going to be socializing a lot throughout this week here um there is a need to balance it out make sure you're spending time by yourself here but i do sense that you guys are going to be socializing and that it is really good to socialize you know spend time with friends go out don't overindulge in drinking but you know go out, have a drink and enjoy your time with friends here because i do sense that being around that light light energy is going to help some of you are going to be meeting somebody from your past due to a friend or you are just going to be coming into a new um having you know a rekindling of an old friendship a friendship that you've had for many many years here you're going to be maybe going back to your hometown due to this breakup and you know becoming friends with that person again or just somehow this person ends up reaching out to you but there is an old friend coming back i am sensing too and with this eight of cups this is the energy of you walking away from something that don't, no longer serves you here and walking towards your happiness walking towards that nine of cups here you don't know what it is that's going to make you happy at this stage but you know that there's something better you know that you know what once made you happy is currently not making you happy anymore you're evolving you're ascending and now you need to look for what is going to make you happy <clears throat> in the current day trust your intuition because i definitely sense that you're on the right track and the only time that you're not is when you overthink and you second guess your intuition message oh all right, we have the Four of Cups here. So I feel like this person, you know, who had betrayed you is definitely going to be coming back, but you're definitely not going to be open. You're going to be very withdrawn here. It's almost like they're not going to recognize you. Um, I definitely sense that you just don't have patience for this person or anything that they say anymore. It's almost like you've heard it. You've, you've heard enough or you've heard it all before. And the Ace of Pentacles here. There's a new opportunity coming in for you. Some of you, this is a new job within... Um, a new job some of you this you may be starting a business with the six of wands here because you are going to be getting you know um more financial abundance coming towards you in a new job opportunity but this is also a relationship for some of you it could be with an earth sign or a new earth sign coming but this is something stable that's going to make you more grounded messages for cancers wow we get the nine of cups and then we have the hierophant so okay wow the hierophant the nine of cups wow you guys the eight of wands lots of communication lots of flirty messages lots of new people coming into your life and the wheel of fortune very fixed energy here abundance destiny some of you guys were going through this in order to meet the one and i have a sense that there's you know that energy keeps going around a lot here but you're going to be like i said nine of cups the eight always goes to the nine you're walking into that nine of cups you're walking into happiness you're going to be fulfilling yourself emotionally realizing some things that you didn't realize about yourself growing into a new person and once you turn into that new person that's when this love is going to come in because i feel like this is something that's not going to come in for some of you this is either a year or this is um going to be you know something that takes about a year to build here but there is going to be a lot of communication travel some of you are going to meet this new person through travel with the wheel of fortune and the eight of wands here but there is a sense of some of you this is really weird and it may just be for one of you but some of you guys are going to go through therapy due to healing that you need to do from past situations and burdens and you may end up um you know there may end up being some sort of you know feelings between you and this therapist i'm not sure i don't even think that's allowed but that is the message that i'm getting here others of you this is saying that this new relationship that's coming in with a possible earth sign or a taurus has a huge potential for something stable this is long-term commitment here an opportunity for long-term commitment that's literally coming towards you here and coming from a distance right so for some of you this is the person that's reconciling with you here but this is somebody that's made you happier than anybody else in the past or somebody new that's going to make you happier than anybody has ever been able to. Very, very beautiful energy. All right, so I have, you'll be dealing with a Capricorn, Aquarius, Taurus, Libra, Sag. So if you're dealing with a Capricorn, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, we have the Three of Pentacles. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, they're wanting to invest time with you here. Some of you, this is wanting to move in here, but I really sense that they're wanting to work as a team here. There could have been a falling out and they're wanting to reinvest. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, the 
lovers, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, um, if there was a choice, I definitely sense that this person is going to be choosing you. But if you're dealing with an Aquarius, I really feel like this could be a new person coming in. And I just feel like you feel like this person was dropped, you know, from heaven perfectly for you. It's like if you feel like you could have created somebody perfect for you, that's how you feel about this Aquarius or how you will be feeling. If you're dealing with a Libra, if you're dealing with a Libra, Page of Pentacles here. If you're dealing with a Libra, I feel like there's going to be an, um, an offer coming in, an offer of something stable here. I definitely sense that they are a page, right? So it's not going to be, this is an offer that has potential to turn into something serious here. But I sense that you are a lot more mature and maybe on a higher level than this person, so it may not last long. If you're dealing with a Taurus. Right, if you're dealing with the Taurus, we have the Ten of Wands in reverse. If you're dealing with the Taurus, it looks like you guys are going to be coming out of a time where you felt like you know you were taking on all the weight in this relationship. Maybe things weren't equal within this relationship, but you're coming out of that and coming into a time where you guys are working on things. Some of you guys are going to counseling with this Taurus. If you're dealing with the Sagittarius, dealing with the Sagittarius, the Empress, if you're dealing with the Sagittarius, for some of you, this could mean pregnancy. For others of you, this is talking about abundance around this relationship, right? With the wheel and temperance, huge energy for expansion within December um, for you guys. And, you know, Jupiter is moving to Sag, so within November, right? So while Jupiter is moving to Sag, actually this week, there's going to be a lot of abundance around the person that you're dealing with. So, you know, there is definitely the possibility for pregnancy so I would watch out for that but this is also about you know having a new relationship expanding the relationship and just having a lot of abundance attracted to the relationship here this person sees you as um, somebody that is ex like exquisite they see you as somebody that is just so so rare like a gem all right let me pull you guys some soul's journey any other messages for my beautiful cancers Success. I know that there is no greater goal than love and death. I am learning that merely or that endings are merely beginnings. Absolutely. All these endings that happen are new beginnings. They're ways to make room for new things in our life here. And I do see success coming for you guys. Then we have courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Absolutely. So some of you, there is something that you need to, some sort of shadow side within you or within the person that you're dealing with that you need to face. And if you don't face it on your own, it's going to be knocking you in the face this week here. So that is a message for some of you guys. Um, but it's only going to knock you to lead you into healing, right? So either way, it's good. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you would like a reading based on you and your person's energy alone, my uh, website is in the description box below as well as 2020 and six month forecasts. Uh, feel free to subscribe if you like this reading. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.